morning there drivers uh, gets this started this morning with a breaking news thing out of uh, Pittsburgh Pennsylvania I guess they had a bridge collapse over Frick, Frick Park in eastern Pittsburgh uh, 10 people have been injured looks like it's a fairly wide bridge I'm not sure exactly where in Pittsburgh this is but like I say it's over Frick Park and uh, big enough for a city bus to be running on uh, I guess there was uh, 10 plus people have been injured so uh, evacuations are underway in surrounding areas due to a serious gas leak and like it said uh, the scene area is Forbes and Bradcock and a Port Authority bus were involved so I'm, I'm not familiar with Pittsburgh at all I've never delivered in the area and stuff so I thought I would bring that up to start off this little uh, the broadcast today so doubt any of you are going to be in the area and stuff but I thought I'd go and throw it up there just so you would all know about it and right now there's uh they got all these uh winter weather advisories going on uh snow expected one to three inches uh starting late this afternoon about 4 p.m and that's in northern virginia just south of washington and get up here to new york let's see what it has to say three to five inches winds gusting as high as 35 miles an hour go and cruise up into uh, Massachusetts here just west of Boston 7 to 15 inches winds gusting as high as 45 miles an hour getting out up by uh, Portland Maine 7 to 13 inches winds gusting as high as 35 miles an hour and that's going to be oh it says 7 a.m. Saturday to 6 a.m. on Sunday but thought I'd throw that one in there you guys probably already heard about that one but uh, they got a wind chill advisory for upstate New York uh, from midnight tonight through almost noon on Saturday oh 20 below zero range so yeah it's gonna sounds like it's gonna get a little nippy around uh, upstate New York uh, south and east of Buffalo a little bit to the west almost to Erie Pennsylvania All right now they got uh, snow going through Indianapolis let's see now light snow this morning <coughs> only light accumulations less than half an inch or around a half an inch for the Cincinnati area we got special weather statement for Chicago oh god snow always sucks in the Chicago area uh, I guess this one already moved through <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that 9 a.m. and it's uh, yeah 930 over there now so expect slick roads and all that kind of crap there for the Chicago area looks like it's quiet across the northern tier uh, something in Nebraska what's in Nebraska fire watch or fire weather excuse me well, unless I guess you're gonna go out and be in doing some barbecue in the rest areas or something like that most of you don't have to worry about that and what do we got going on down here in Georgia 
Uh, very cold, blustery conditions uh, tonight and Saturday morning. Temperatures falling to 15 to 30 degrees. Winds up to gusting up to 30 miles an hour. So it's going to be chilly and blustery. Looks like I got some uh, weather down here in the Galveston area. A freeze warning. From midnight to 9 a.m. on Saturday, so that's tomorrow. Oh, excuse me, Corpus Christi area. I didn't zoom in close enough to be able to see exactly where it was at. So, yeah, we got some uh, weather there. There it is. South of uh, Corpus Christi. So, you got some rain there. Wind advisory for the Tucson area 25 to 35, gust to 45. Another wind advisory for Los Angeles area and south towards San Diego in the foothills there 20 to 30, gust to 55. That's through uh, 10 p.m. tonight. So, you guys are light. Be aware of that. Looks like I got another wind advisory for the Lake Havasu Lake Mead area. 20 to 25. Gust around 30 overnight. So, if you're going across Hoover Dam, uh, light. Yeah, hold on to your britches. Yeah, it looks like uh, got some rain in the Sacramento area. <clears throat> it's not saying anything about uh, snow up there on Donner Pass, but wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if the rain makes it up there. It might throw a little bit of the white stuff up there, so you might have to be thrown iron. Who knows? And the air stagnation continues and freezing fog through the I-5 corridor going through Oregon and up into Washington. And this morning, yes, it's definitely foggy because I can't see the other side of the sound or Sinclair Inlet here where I sit at. So it was a nice starry night last night and it's a nice foggy morning this morning for the greater Puget Sound area and you can see the air stagnation well it's probably all fog too so anyways go and switch over here to the traffic side and go and you can see what's going on across the country in the way of traffic once the traffic app opens up here on my tablet There we go. It's a little slow this morning. I guess it's taking a break for the weekend early. And traffic in the Seattle area. I don't see much in the way of slowdowns. There's a crash on the I-90 bridge area approach on the east side. there by Mercer Island and let's see what that says so it's on it's on the westbound side east of Mercer Way so and it's just typical morning traffic for around here <coughs> on 167 down there by Sumner Coming out of Puyallup, heading north towards Kent. But, uh, huh. Not sure what's going on there east of Cleelum on the westbound side. 
Some of probably smacked into each other, but uh, they got a slow segment there. I say that's on the westbound side of I 90, just east of Cleelum. There's a slow section there. Not sure what that is, but it doesn't state what it is. Passes are looking good because there's no weather here. It's our air stagnation, duh. But anyway, back out of here. Zoom in just a little bit. There we go. And I 5 all the way from Portland down to Sacramento and then south across the valley towards Los Angeles to the grapevine and stuff it's all looking green I-15 is looking green I-25 don't see any hang-ups there east and west I-90, I-94 across North Dakota through Min Minnesota it's looking good I-90 going across uh, South Dakota and Minnesota is also not showing any slowdowns, nor I-70 for a change, going across Colorado, and I-80 is uh, looking pretty good, even going across Windy Oming. They do have a few areas. I'll go and get to that once I get done with the nation map here. I'll go and bring that up, and not seeing any slowdowns uh, to speak of over here on the east coast no lake effect snow in Michigan see it's the morning traffic and stuff around Chicago I see a little bit of red there but who the hell knows it doesn't take much to screw up Chicago and I see a red segment there by Cincinnati Oh yeah, they. God, that I hate that damn town too. I'm not familiar with the inner city and stuff, but uh, there's a section there that's real dark red and stuff. So, and it's what uh, seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock in the morning there. So. Yep, I'm not sure what's going on on I-71 there, but uh, from just before the 275 loop on the north side all the way into downtown Cincinnati is really dark red, so I guess that's like slow or stopped traffic. And 275 ramp is blocked from I-71 I-75 northbound road closed so yeah sounds like they've got a little bit of a cluster going on there but anyway like I said don't seeing anything else going on here on the east coast or even down south and stuff all the interstates are looking good for now but being a watching out for that snowfall here that's uh, right now in Kentucky and stuff and is supposed to be moving over to the East Coast and hammering it all the way from like I guess it's North Carolina all the way up uh, through Connecticut up into Maine right now all the interstates there are looking good so anyway we'll switch over to Windy Oming here there we go And I 80 looks good all the way from uh, Evanston to to Rollins, and it looks like it's slow, got some slowdowns and stuff going past uh, the Elk Mountain area by Walcott and stuff there. Let's see what they what pops up here. Alrighty, wet roads, strong winds, blowing snow go figure it's January 
and this is right there by Elk Mountain dry roads and strong winds now who would have thunk that one and what's going on past Laramie slick in spots clear conditions what's this little asterisk here oh I guess they got uh, exit closed and milepost 316 eastbound due to road damage and that's uh, the exit just west of the one that the I-30 loop that uh, cuts off uh, and goes there on the through town there by the Walmart Supercenter on the east end of town so I guess I got the exit closed there but anyway we'll go and back off out of there and see what's going on over by Buford slicking spots with strong winds Oh, that's on 210. All right, same thing on the interstate there by Buford. <coughs> Happy Jack Road, and then to over to, that's uh, 223, I believe it is. Yep, 223 over to exit 348 Auto Road. Expect slick roads in spots with strong winds and blowing snow. So, if you're light or a set of joints up there on top going across by past uh, Buford, be aware of that. North of uh, Cheyenne, slick in spots, strong winds, blowing snow, dry roads uh, get farther up there. Uh, dry roads and strong winds and that's just south of Chugwater and as you're headed up towards uh, Douglas dry roads, strong winds well, it's, roads are looking green up to Douglas and over to Casper north of Casper Slick in spots, clear conditions. Slick in spots, clear conditions. As you head northbound, it's all green up through Buffalo to Sheridan and I 90 east and westbound. It's showing green. all the way over through Gillette got some let's see what's going on over here by uh, Linden and Sundance slick in spots clear conditions so I-90 is looking halfway decent uh, going through the that section of Cheyenne, or I mean uh, Wyoming, and stuff. So anyway, that's my uh, update for this morning. If I hear anything else, I'll go and pop up and let you know about it. All right, this is Greg for my Friday morning uh, broadcast. And uh, guys, stay out of the ditches and stay off uh, boneheaded truckers. YouTube page unless you're submitting other idiots out there that uh, screw up and do something stupid. Alright, have a good one. Hope you have a good weekend. I'll be back when I find more information out for you. So, have a safe one drivers. Take it easy.